Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. You know, I hope the start of your day is absolutely amazing. And you know, I tell you what, a lot of my days are really busy. You guys know I work seven days a week, day to night, and I am absolutely out of my mind most of the time. By the way, today is gonna be one of those days. So I figure, why don't we inspire each other today, right? I'm gonna kind of test you guys and say, if you wanted to do something awesome but you've been putting it off, today is the day I want you to go do it. You know, don't no more excuses, guys. Let's get out there and do it. I have a fun-filled pack day, four tours I have to do. We're open at the Reptarium, a bunch of different, you know, I've got some eggs to cut, I've got some things that are hatching. I think I got a ball python clutch to cut. The point is, I have to stay motivated. And how do I stay motivated? Just by doing it, right? Not making up excuses, but getting out there and actually doing it. So I'm gonna check everything here, get ready for my first tour. And together, you guys and myself are gonna have an absolutely incredible day, and we're gonna achieve some amazing things. What do you say we get started? Have my first tour of the day in the house. How are you guys doing? Where are you guys from? Pennsylvania. Oh, nice. Awesome. Well, welcome, guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Just wrapping up the first tour, uh, absolutely incredible people. And I say that all the time. You know, I get a chance to hang around amazing people all the time. And you know, again, they motivate me, you guys motivate me. Like I was saying in the beginning, when I have a crazy day, how do I get through it? A lot of times I rely on you guys, you know, your comments, your support, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever it is that you guys are kind of encouraging me, that kind of keeps me going, right? And the same thing with tours and even when we're open to the public, you guys just inspire me to be the best I possibly can be so we have three more tours today but I'm gonna go ahead head down to the dungeon and see if we have anything going on down there this lunch is actually pretty cool this is a black pastel pin and oop I already see there's a couple sluggers in here that's not a good sign at all and she's actually bred to a mahogany that mahogany and chocolate stuff mix really really well together and then the pinstripe on top of it is really cool but I'm not too encouraged by this clutch oh my gosh that wouldn't be what I would consider a very successful clutch at all. Looks like we've got two good eggs, we've got two sluggers over here, and we've got two slugs over here. So yeah, that wasn't exactly exemplary when it comes to clutches, though. But again, that kind of happens, and I've mentioned it before that sometimes towards the end of the year, you'll get a little bit of issues with fertility as well. So that definitely wasn't a very good clutch, which is disappointing because I was really excited about that pairing. I wanted to get a chocolate mahogany pinstripe. I think it would have looked so cool, but hey, we still have two eggs. Is it good, sir? I always yeah, yeah. don't know when to, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. got the giggles now. Lots of work to do here. It's kind of like the peak of the hatching season for baby snakes for us. I went from feeding two days a week to about four days a week now. Extremely busy. Right now, I'm gonna feed the baby garters. We're gonna chop up some worms for them. Then I have to move on to the other baby colubrids, but with them being born and hatched at different times, set up at different times, we have to really pay attention feed this this day, this the next day. These can't start eating for a week. So it's just a lot of work, a lot of uh, patience. Okay guys, that's it, donezo. <laughs> There's a lot of snakes here, let me tell you what. So we finally kind of got them all fed. It's just gonna take me a little bit because we gotta go through, you know, like I said, all these guys are on different days. Pretty soon we'll be able to sync them up. They're all on one day. So I got them all fed, everyone's good, and uh, we'll check them in the morning. Got my next door in the house. How are you guys doing? What's your name? Good, my name's Zach. Carly. All right, where are you guys from? Uh, Napoleon, Ohio. Napoleon, Ohio, yeah. where is that? Right? It's about two hours south. Two hours south, yeah. gotcha, yep. awesome. Yeah. Well, welcome guys, uh, we'll have a good time, all right? Yeah, all right, sure. cool. Another tour down, one more to go before we open up. Wait, is that two more tours? Did one, two. Another tour down. Before my next tour, I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut some ball python eggs because I know you guys like that stuff and hopefully we'll have some cool babies. This clutch of ball pythons is actually a female pastel yellow belly bred to a dragonfly male, which is a pastel of fire and a pinstripe. So it should be some really cool stuff. Weirdly enough, I have this one egg right here that has a date marked on it, which doesn't coincide with the other egg. So I really don't know what this egg is. I probably forgot to mark it. So let's just go ahead and cut this egg and see if we can figure out what the heck this egg is because again I don't think it's in the same clutch although it might be you never know until I cut it you're not really sure what's gonna happen here and ooh, what the heck is going on with this egg here Ooh, oh 
that looks like a disaster. I'm not gonna lie to you here. Every now and then, you hatch out an animal that has got a lot of deformities. And this one obviously has some spinal kinking and some other issues. That that animal, it looks like a pinstripe of some sort, but that one doesn't look like it's gonna make it. And, and that's probably why it was like a one-off egg, because sometimes when a female lays one egg or something goes on like that, a lot of times the babies aren't very healthy. So it doesn't surprise me. Don't know what the father and mother was of that one, but we're just gonna not even look at that egg for a minute here. We're gonna move on to this animal where I know this is a pastel yellow belly bred to a dragonfly male and we're going to just open up this first egg and see what we have and right off the rip there is a beautiful snake in here who i tell you what that is gorgeous that is actually a super pastel fire so a super fly and a yellow belly who that's a pretty snake right there who doggy that thing is nice i hope we keep going with odds like that because that is amazing the only thing we missed in that was actually the pinstripe now this one here looks like it's going to be probably a super pastel yellow belly so it doesn't look like it has fire in it so okay but hopefully we'll get some pinstripe stuff in this as well got a few more eggs in this clutch to cut see what we have okay so far we've been kind of missing the odds here looks like this is just a pastel probably a pastel yellow belly but uh no super pastel no fire and no pinstripe so come on guys let's get this going here let's get something awesome okay we have another really beautiful animal in here this one actually looks like a super fly possible yellow belly not sure if it's a yellow belly because it doesn't look quite as faded as that first animal that was really blown out because of the yellow belly last egg Fingers crossed, guys. Let's see if we have an all gene animal here. Come on, gotta get me something awesome. Please, please, please. Okay, what do we have here? It looks pretty cool so far. Okay, ooh, yeah, baby. Whoo, oh yeah. Yep, that's the all gene animal, guys. We nailed it. This is a super pastel fire pinstripe yellow belly. Whoo, doggy. That is one gorgeous snake. I love ending the day with an amazing animal cut. So there you guys have it. Actually a really good clutch. We had a lot of variety, really cool stuff with the exception of that first egg. So uh, that concludes egg cutting for the day. All right, I've got my next tour. How are you guys? Good. Hey, how about you? Where did you guys come from? Texas. From Texas. Texas, what part yeah. of Texas? Like central, next to San Antonio. Oh my God. You brought them up. Welcome to the house. We love our Texans in here. So yeah. let's have fun, all right? So this is the very first snake you've ever held. Yes. Oh my gosh, sunrise. That snake. is awesome. Uh, and of course, she's up for her birthday. So happy birthday, obviously. And uh, you said you. you like snakes, but you just never had a chance yeah. to do it. So what do you think? I mean, it's heavier than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> but you do it good. Really I was surprised. Strong. I had no idea. She's like, that's the first snake. I'm like, what? That's awesome. That's super cool. I have to share this clutch with you because I am pretty much blown away right now. We had this animal that we called Cinny New Gene because it was a cinnamon that hatched out that was kind of unusual looking, but we didn't really know what was going on, so I just kept it and said Cinny New Gene, and uh, I bred it this year for the first time to just a normal Enchi. So essentially, it was a Cinny bred to an Enchi, which would be a double co-dominant animal, and I hatched out some crazy stuff. I mean, first off, you know, here's just like a normal kind of Cinny, black pastel, whatever the case may be. It looks more like a black pastel to a Cinny, so that could make sense where the cine looks a little different, but to me, the adult looks just like a cine, but regardless, doesn't matter. And then here is, you know, kind of what I would expect from like a cinnamon enchi. You know, it's a really pretty cinnamon enchi, but uh, it's still pretty much what I would consider a cinnamon enchi. Then we have this animal right here, which is definitely just a normal enchi ball python. So basically, these three animals here don't surprise me that much because we essentially have a cine or a black pastel. We have an enchi, and then we have what I would consider considered to be a Cine Enchi, which is all these things. Now, the next three animals are what blew me away because I have no idea what these are. I mean, literally, I have no idea. I've got one, I've got two, and then this one is absolutely a ripper. I mean, I have no clue what's going on here. So apparently, we're definitely having this new gene animal mixing with Enchi, and you're getting these super orange animals. I mean, these are way oranger than, say, even an orange dream, because the orange dream has a little bit of orange, but then when you get the super orange dream, that's when you get that really great color. Well, these aren't supers. These are just straight 
I don't know, maybe Enchi New Gene. So I'm gonna probably rename it instead of calling it a New Gene, something completely different. But unfortunately, until I prove it out, I don't even know what's going on. I think we proved out that there's definitely another gene that is absolutely stunning, but we don't know what that gene is. We have no idea what this means. Is there a super? Is there something else? So now I just have to start raising these guys up and breed them back. But at least I know that this kind of dinker project, which this is basically a project that is like a dinking project because we don't know what the genetics are. It proved out that there is definitely something going on and I couldn't be more excited about the results. I never expected this to happen. So uh, you guys let me know what you think. And if you have a cool idea for a name for this new gene, let me know down in the comments. Last tour of the day is in the house. How are you guys doing? We're awesome. Good. 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 And I'm sorry, your name? I'm Heather. Heather. And I'm Finn. And Finn. Awesome. Well, Heather and Finn, thank you. Welcome to the Rep Where are you guys from? We're from Maine. From Maine? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Maine is so beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it's awesome. Well, welcome to Michigan. Thank all right, the you. other, the other M. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna have a good time today and show you all kinds of cool stuff, all right? Great. All right, cool. Everything is set and we are ready to open up for the rep. Tarim's gonna be an amazing night. You guys all ready? Yeah. Well, at least Bruce is ready. Really fun night here at the Reptarium. I tell you what, this is just always amazing. And I hope that you guys enjoyed, you know, the whole vlog. You know, let me know in the comments what part you like, what part you like to see more of, all that other stuff. Have a wonderful day. I love your beautiful faces and I wish you the absolute best. Do me a favor, be kind to someone today, and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.